Gamma Gear. Uh, in the vise, I've got a size 12 Kamasan 405 hook uh, micro barb, and I'm going to tie a simple sedge that uh, I've used off and on for 30 years, and it's worked well on both rivers and rocks. So the the tying thread I'm using isn't important. I'm actually using some uh, micro floss in blue dun coloration. And I'll just start it off at the eye. Now this this fly, you can tie this fly very rough and ready. Most people will be tempted to overcomplicate it, add a load of extra features on it, and it's not needed. So down for the body, whisk back up, and the hackle, I'm using a genetic saddle feather. Now, every now and again on some of these genetic capes, you get some uh, feathers that are incredibly small. Uh, my small, I mean short fibre length. And they're uh, just the job for the bodies of these sedges. So I'm doing nothing fancy here. I'm not sort of uh, tidying up the base of the hackle. All being fussy how I go back to the uh, rear of the bend of the hook. I say it's rough and ready. You don't need to be fancy and clever with this. Go down the body in fairly close turns, right to the bend of the hook. Two or three turns down there and keeping your thread, thread taut, go up towards the eye and you can snap that off and that body is immensely durable. So I'd like that. Then what we want is a bit of uh, fairly light coloured deer hair. I'm not too fussy. Um, I don't know what animal it, well I say what animal, what uh, touch of deer hair to use. Clip off a small bunch and hold it just slightly past the bend of the hook. Do the first couple of turns fairly loose -ish. Loose it, loose. With your thumbnail, hold it down and tighten up. Pull a little cluster of the deer hair up and wrap behind it. And don't be worried about the eye being fairly well hidden, it really doesn't matter as long as you can get your uh, line threaded through, that's absolutely fine. And three or four half inches. And that's the lot. Now what you need to do with this is to uh, give it a haircut. And I do a single, well it won't be a single cut this time because I've left a few straggly fibres. But trim it like so. Now th this fly uh, fished on the top dropper on locks or on it's a single fly on rivers when the sedges are out does the job. It's very light, it floats extremely well and uh, it's remarkably durable. You don't need to be hyper fussy about the colorations, just use what hackles you've got. 
anything from off-white to uh, almost black will, will work. So there you can see it, real rough and ready stuff. Won't win any fly tying awards, but we'll, we'll catch your fish and quick to tie. So once again, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye for now.